Hey Marishis and welcome back to another video and today you'll probably notice a difference in audio and that's because rather than doing a live reaction to this, as you can see the play on screen is sped up while my voice is slow talking over it. So I wanted to kind of get questions, answers, thoughts, opinions and other things out of the way in this video with a playthrough of level 1 to level 23 of the ice cream parlor game. Unfortunately once I got to level 23 the game froze, or my computer froze, either way you'd like to look at it. The game probably froze my computer. But uh, yeah, that I can't really do anything with a frozen game so I had to reload and of course lost all that progress. This is, however, a new record that I've set for myself and it's very exciting. So moving on to the first topic that I wanted to talk about, it's kind of like a mini podcast of sorts I guess. Um, so the first topic I wanted to talk about was future video ideas. So as you know Moshi Monsters, it, it has a lot of content but it's a lot of repetitive content so there's not a lot of new stuff that I can do. Obviously I would really like to keep in with those weekly Sunday live streams like the one that I had. Um, just uh, yesterday that's gone by. Um, it was really fun and I really enjoyed it and I'm like hoping that I can continue with that every Sunday or on Sundays where I have the time and energy to do so. And then of course keeping that one episode of Moshi Monsters Egg Hunt per week. So if I do three videos per week, and one is the live stream, and one is Egg Hunt, and one is the Moshi Monsters online game, um, I think that should like spread it out across so that like people who like live streams can still enjoy that every week. People who are here for the Egg Hunt only can you know, keep in touch, join that every week. I just feel like that would be a good way to spread it out. But I need to know, for those of you who are here not for the repetitive Egg Hunt or live stream gameplay, what would you like to see out of my MoshiMonsters.com videos? Because that website has a lot of options, so I could literally just do um, like a bunch of episodes of the Moshi Monsters games. I could play them live and record it, and uh, I could also just like do a series of gameplay of those but they're not really Moshi Monsters related like they're just there on the website um, third party posts basically and so I don't really know if that would be okay with you guys maybe I could just do the Moshi Monster games um, and then I also thought what if I do MoshiMonsters.com one week and real life something or other the second week. Are you guys interested in blind bags or other toys other than just Moshi Monsters? Because I am and you know this channel I wanted to like keep it Moshi Monsters related for as long as I can. I did try the Webkins but Webkins is actually um I feel like it has a worse setup than Moshi Monsters despite it you know having a more active community. I personally prefer Moshi Monsters to it, so I have kind of drifted away from that, and so I won't be playing that anymore, but it, it is a cute game, has cute animals, I just don't like the way that it's run, don't like the animation, and don't like the really big push for membership on that game. Like, Moshi Monsters, you can play so much of it without a membership, but on Webkins it's really hard to like do much with only one pet. Or, you know, uh, they don't really have memberships with them. Well, they kind of do. They have, like, multiple things you can do. Anyway. So, would you be interested in seeing me unbox different toys? Would you be interested in seeing me review different toys? Um, slash figures. I know some people are triggered by the word toys for some reason. I refer to them as toys. <laughs> um, and... Yeah, so I'd probably mostly do Moshi Monsters if it came to that, because there are a lot of eBay lots that come out now and then. And I'm interested in purchasing those. But, you know, 
if if you guys want to see it, then there's more motivation for me to purchase it, you know? <laughs> and I feel less like I'm wasting my Christmas money. But yeah. And then there's like also a bunch of stuff that I haven't covered. Um, so yeah, that's my other idea basically. It's like moshimonsters.com one week and like unboxing or reviewing toys, Moshi Monsters and possibly other things like the Num Noms that I, I just uploaded one episode of and was like, uh, I'm not really sure if you guys want to see that because, you know, it's not Moshi Monsters related. So I didn't upload another one again. Um, but yeah, if you would like to see more of those, let me know because I'd be happy to waste my money on those again. They're really, really cute, and I have got more since, I just haven't uploaded videos of them. I was also wondering, uh, for those of you who aren't following my Instagram but are following my YouTube channel, would you be interested in me, like, putting together a how I take my Instagram photos and, like, a slideshow, basically, of whatever I take for Instagram? Would you be interested in that? Because I have like a lot of photos that I've collected and posted over the time and basically what I do is I get my figurines or my toys, the Moshi Monster ones, and I just kind of like hide them throughout the garden in the park and take photos of them and it's really fun for me. I don't know what people think of it but people are following me and that's all I really post so I guess some people like it. <laughs> um, yeah. And also, would you like to see more speed paints? I was doing Sunday speed paints and Saturday stars, as you're aware if you're like a kind of longer viewer of my channel. I did those like six months ago, I think. Um, I, I really liked sta Saturday stars, and I think other people liked them as well. It's just no one really, really commented. Um, no one continued to comment and so I couldn't continue to review because I don't just want to like put out my public opinion to someone's room if they haven't asked for it because I just feel like that's rude in my opinion. So I'm, yeah, if anyone would like a Saturday Stars review, if you've somehow made it halfway through the video and you're still listening, and you would like a Saturday Stars review, go to my last Saturday Stars episode and put in your name and your house. And even if I've already reviewed you, if you've changed your room and you want me to review it again, I would be absolutely happy to, because I find it really cool to just like go through and like put my opinion on it and stuff. Um, what was the next topic? Right, live streams, okay. So, live streams can get really difficult and really boring if you don't know what you're going to do for them. And so, I basically like write a little list of what I'm going to do and then I go, like, I check that off as I'm going through, like, mentally. So, so that I don't get bored. But sometimes I can, like, check those off too fast. Um, like obviously doing Moshi Monster dailies would be something that I'd do in every live stream because that's just something that I would do. Um, I want to keep that that up. But then after doing the dailies, what do I do? Like, it, it can get a little difficult. Like obviously on Friendly Moshi the account, I am doing the uh, fish in a bag, the theme park fish in a bag thing, where I'm just like buying all of those fish. I'm putting them everywhere in my room, and that's great. But when I'm not doing that, or I'm not doing that in a live stream, what do you guys want me to be doing? Because I can't just play games endlessly, because, you know, like the third-party hosted games, I'm not really interested in all of those. Like, I mean, the Shaun the Sheep game is fun, like the j Run Jump game is fun, but the others, they kind of, like, bore me, or they're just repetitive because they're, like, knockoffs of games that have already been created. Obviously I will always support Moshi Monsters in their knockoff games, but when it's other people doing it, I'm a little less supportive, I'm a little less into it, and I'm not as interested in playing that when I could be supporting the original creator, 
you know, whether that's just through playing the game or through giving them money or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you could give me suggestions on what to do during live streams when I just don't know what to do, that would be absolutely great, astounding, would love, would love any tips and tricks. Okay, so um, next topic that I wanted to talk about was actually just the YouTube channel. So in terms of subscribers, I'm, I don't really care about subscribers. I'm more interested in the comments and the views. I see those as a much more important part of building a community and a channel. But uh, my subscribers are doing well. I'm slowly increasing, getting, working my way towards 100, which is absolutely amazing. I've already hit 85 and that's just astounding. But um, like I said, I'm more interested in the views and the comments, personally. Um, because, you know, I subscribe to 30 channels and I constantly watch the content they produce but I know that a lot of people are subscribed to like a hundred channels and so they don't watch every channel, which is why I don't really care about subscribers that much. But I was wondering, I've noticed that my views have been dropping down and likes and dislikes are something that I, it's very difficult to get them. Uh, like, you know, you could have 1 million views and 50 likes, that's just how it works. Because not everyone puts the effort into clicking that button. But, um, I was just, I just noticed the views were going down. And I'm not sure if that's because, you know, people are less interested in the content I'm producing. Or people have forgotten that my channel exists, or people just can't be bothered watching it. Uh, in any case, maybe it's like I upload too often. I know that if I don't upload for a month, then my most recent video can get up to 300 views just because I haven't been uploading. I don't know if that's because people are watching it repetitively, or if just like all my subscribers decide to flock to that one video because they noticed that I haven't uploaded. Anyhow, if you can, I, I'm sure that people watching this are people that have been watching all of my videos and aren't really interested in letting me know what has happened or, you know, don't even know the answer to what has happened or why it's happened. But if you have any idea of why my content is getting less views, then please let me know because I don't want to produce stuff that you guys don't want to watch and if you're not watching it then I then you probably don't want to because you don't want to you wouldn't watch something that you don't want to watch right so yeah that's my question to you do you know what I'm doing wrong is it my editing is it my voice should I put more music overlays is it that I'm targeting the wrong audience yeah just tell me whatever and that will be appreciated. Alright, so I think that concludes everything that I have to say. If there's any more gameplay, then I'll let that play over with just the music. But that's everything that I wanted to talk about out of the way, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed listening to me basically just talk for 15 minutes. Um, and enjoy watching me complete the Ice Cream Parlor game, levels 1 through 23. Bye, Mushies!